the long uh, video I just did, uh, it's going to be a two-part uh, video, but uh, basically what I was talking about is that there's a few concepts I would like to talk about as I continue my infectious disease uh, thing. Uh, I'll relate to a uh, video, so if you want to see the all the longer video, uh, there'll be a link down. Uh, linking you to the long video, uh, but basically on this one, um, Ebola. Uh, the, this is the the transmission uh, line. This is what we've been kind of talking about, and this is what we're trying to prevent. Um, thing, and so I'll I'll put the link down of this great article that we're talking about. So I thought it was interesting. Uh, so what we're going to be talking is mostly about the triangle. So there's a triangle called the agent, environment, and use, and it's very important when infectious disease is there's a difference between infection. And being uh, and having a disease, meaning that you can be infected but don't have the disease. Uh, and there was a big case on that called uh, the Mary uh, Typhoid Mary. Um, and uh, I know I'll put the link down on on the story that they talk about that. But so that was what we'll be talking about. So, so basically, when it comes to the agent, the most important concept is what we call reservoir, meaning that the disease has to be present for it to be spilled. Um, so basically the disease like the red and the, uh, the green jelly bean here has to be present to spill into the environment. If you don't have it, you cannot, uh, if you don't have the reservoir, you cannot have the disease. And the reservoir can sometimes come from um, other people from, coming from other countries. Uh, so, for example, uh, in the Ebola case, again, uh, we brought uh, sick people over here. They became reservoir. And they were the one transferring, but we couldn't have Ebola by going uh, hunting or or camping or anything here because the disease himself was not as a reservoir into outside uh, healthcare facilities. Uh, so, in proper infection uh, control measure becomes very important, especially when it's related to different. Uh, Agent. So you need to understand the agent that you have to. Uh, is it an airborne agent, a droplet, contact, GI contact? And there's a difference between contact and GI contact. And mainly what the difference is, is that when you have GI contact, so it's mostly people with diarrhea, is that, so this is what gastrointestinal, uh, and this is what uh, the contact stands for, uh, gastrointestinal, sorry. And this is what GI stand for, is that uh, what you want is you cannot clean your hands just with alcohol. You have to clean your hands with soap. Uh, so this is pretty much the big difference. And the airborne and droplet, a lot of people kind of misconfuse those two. But the airborne means that if I'm standing behind you uh, in, in the same room and it's closed environment, there's poor ventilation, I can still get the disease. Versus droplet, you have to be in front and in a certain area to get it. But mainly that's the big difference. Uh, when we talk about the host, this is the higher risk group, mostly recognized by the World Health Organization, CD, uh, SD, uh, C, uh, CTC. And um, basically, uh, those. this is depends on each uh, agent, but mainly those people come back over and over in many of them. So uh, that's why I put that list there. Uh, in an environment, it's basically how the the agents going to be transferring. So what you want is um, a good ventilation, spacing, uh, not overcrowding, and well lighted with natural light, aka UV light. So you want to have something that has lights, which is obviously, as you see here from the picture, it's not that. There's a lot of, um, it's like moisture inside. It's, this is pure ground for a uh, big infection. And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but basically uh, what I want to do talk quickly and uh, the other for, for the environment is infection vector controls and so um, mostly the vectors will be either pest controls or the rats or even pigeons or any other um, pests and uh, even in the city uh, some of the uh, um, flying basically uh, flying rats or like pigeon and then you have a um, also squirrels that pretty much are carrying carrying a lot of the vectors um, and a clean water chain and um, we'll talk a little bit more about that but basically it's not just having clean water is you also want to have like from the water when you brought it clean it and everything you want to make sure that to the time that you clean it to the time that it goes to your mouth it didn't get recontaminated by other stuff so what we'll call we'll talk about more is the clean water chain so anyway, that was the, squ the quickie uh, video. Again, there'll be a link for the longer video. And I'll talk to you soon.